So the next time you hear, why should I become a member, or what do I receive in exchange for my dues dollars, try this. Tell them that the AGD serves as the only voice that stands up for and protects our rights as a general practitioner. Tell them that while they are doing what they love to do in their practices, treating patients day in and day out, they can take comfort in knowing that the AGD is working every day to protect their rights so that they can continue doing what they love to do. And if that's not enough, give them the cold hard facts. If somebody were to interfere with their ability to practice as they do today, their one voice would not make much of an impact. But being part of 36,000, 46,000, or 76,000, you bet it would. Is it every dental professional's responsibility to pay the price to belong to the ADA? Absolutely. The ADA exists to represent all of us. The ADA must take responsibility for making sure the dental profession continues to exist and thrive amongst all of the health professions. As a general dentist, you'll pay a different price for an organization that will address your specific concerns as a subgroup. This organization's primary goal will be to advocate on behalf of your specific interests on topics that affect your practice, things you may once have taken for granted. Likewise, we must not take our current members for granted. Once we get these general dentists to join, we need to remind them of their responsibility to stay, not because of what they think they need to receive, but because their dues dollars continue to allow an organization to exist that is vigilant to their needs and interests. It is an organization that maintains a viable group that is unafraid to lobby the government, confront third parties, debate special interest groups, and help protect the public. Instead of asking them to join the AGD or stay with the AGD, tell them that the AGD makes it possible for them to do what they do today and every day. Thank you.